Here we're going to look at a nice problem involving a functional equation that comes from the 1985 International Math Olympiad long list. So that means it was suggested for this contest, but it didn't make the short list or the exam itself. So our goal is to determine all functions of real numbers that satisfy these two conditions. So if one of them is this equation involving f of x plus y plus f of x minus y equals f of x times f of y. And the second one is this limit as x goes to infinity of f of x equals zero. So I've done some functional equation problems on the channel before, and generally the idea is you want to creatively choose values of x and y to create a system of equations from this given that you can use to solve for the function itself. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's get into the solution. So let's start by setting x equal to y equal to a, an arbitrary real number, and see what we get out of that. So notice the left-hand side of this equation will be f of 2a plus f of 0 equals 2 times f of a squared. Okay, great. Now what we want to do is take the limit of both sides of this equation as a approaches infinity. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as a approaches infinity of f of 2a plus f of 0 equals the limit as a approaches infinity of 2f of a quantity squared. Now by some limit rules, we know that the limit of 2 f of a quantity squared is going to be equal to 0, given that the limit of f of a itself is equal to 0. And then furthermore, we know as a approaches infinity, 2a will also approach infinity, which makes this term also tend off towards 0. So immediately we have one value of our function, and that is f of 0 equals 0. Now the next thing that we want to do is swing this value of f of 0 back into this equation that we got from setting x and y both equal to a. So if f of 0 equals 0, this term cancels, and we immediately have a way of writing f of 2a in terms of f of a. So we have f of 2a is twice f of a squared, and that's actually going to be pretty helpful. So for our next thing, we're, we will set x equal to a and y equal to negative a. So let's see what we get for that. So we'll have f of x plus y. So in this case, we have a plus negative a. That's going to be f of 0 plus f of x minus y. So that'll be a minus negative a. So that'll be f of 2a equals twice f of x f of y, so that'll be 2 f of a times f of negative a. Now again, we know that f of 0 is equal to 0, so we can cancel that out. And then we know f of 2a is twice f of a squared, so we can replace that. Twice f of a quantity squared equals twice f of a f of negative a. Good. And actually, I'll go ahead and bring that to the top, and then we'll work towards the end. So in the last board, we showed that for an arbitrary real number a, we have f of a squared equals f of a times f of negative a. So I divided the final equation on the last board by 2 in order to gain this. So notice that that implies that f of a squared minus f of a times f of negative a equals 0, which means we have f of a times the quantity f of a minus f of negative a equals 0. But now this leads to two cases. So case number one is f of a equals 0 for all real numbers a. And I should point out that if this case is true, then we are in fact done because we know exactly what the function is. The function is just the function f of x equals 0. So we'll move on to the second case. So case 2, there exists some real number a such that f of a is not equal to 0. Good. But what that tells us is that we can divide both sides of this equation by f of a. 
So if f of a is not equal to zero, then it has a multiplicative inverse. And if it, if it has a multiplicative inverse, then that means that this bit must be equal to zero, which is the same thing as saying that f of a equals f of negative a. Great. Now what we want to do is go back to our functional equation here and see what we can do to get something that involves f of a and f of negative a. And you see that if we set x equal to 0 and y equal to a, we get exactly that. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's set x equal to 0, y equal to a. And that is going to turn this functional equation into f of a plus f of negative a equals 2 times f of 0 times f of a. But we know that f of 0 is equal to 0 from something that we calculated before. So that means this whole right hand side becomes 0. And then we know f of negative a is equal to f of a. But that tells us this left hand side is twice f of a. We have twice f of a equals 0, which tells us that f of a itself must be equal to 0. But that's a contradiction, because in this case, we started with the assumption that f of a was not equal to 0. Well, so what that means is that case 1 is the only possibility. In other words, this function is equal to the constant function 0. And that's a good place to stop.